Welcome to Analyzer Pro Shorts, the series where we show you bits and pieces of the traffic accident analysis software Analyzer Pro that should inspire you in your daily work as a reconstructionist. Today we're talking about uh, the topic of laser scanner files as well as files you get from uh, 3D photogrammetry. Uh, they are essentially like result-wise the same. Um, so everything we do just works in the exact same way. So in order to load a file, um, I go to graphics, 3D photogrammetry, laser scan, and here I can choose if I want to have a vehicle or aka a movable object or a landscape slash static object. The difference is only that um, the vehicle uh, option allows us to cut out wheels and replace them with rotating wheels, for example. But uh, let's have a look at the landscape option. Um, when I click on that, I get a preview window and can now load either OBG files or E57 files. Workflow is, as I said, completely the same, no difference. Um, the process of loading it might take several minutes. The reason for that is that um, we automatically take the point cloud and convert it into a meshed uh, object. And um, this meshed object has the advantage that we can place vehicles and uh, other objects directly on them. Um, you don't need to think about much in this space, just um, that you know why it might take a little bit uh, to convert. Here we can already see what Analyzer has done. So it has taken the point cloud and it has created an object out of it with a rigid surface. There is no triangulation needed um, all of that just works automatically. The next step, we could, if uh, the object was rotated somehow, um, we could uh, rotate it in a way that it's flat on the surface. We could um, precisely put in measurements of inclination, um, but since this one is already as it's supposed to be, uh, then we can just export it. I click on export. I write a name. My street. And what Analyzer does now is it, it creates um, several files out of that preview window. So it uh, creates an autographic view. It creates um, a 3D model in our own custom uh, system. And uh, yeah, other, in total four files, one, two, three, four. So what we can do now is we can just drag and drop this uh, file in. And what we see is now an autographic image. The reason for that is that we usually work in 2D, but then want to see our results in 3D. So the last thing that remains for me to do is I need to scale that one. So right click, scale. I mark a distance on the background that I know. So this is seven meters. I click OK. The whole thing gets scaled down. Okay, what you can see here now is that we have our 3D landscape directly visible in the same spot where the 2D landscape is in 2D. So when I place the pictures next to each other, or the, the parts of the program, you can see them directly. And what I can do now is I can place objects, for example, a car, directly on my 2D screen and what I will get is I immediately have the same in 3D. So let's say I want to 
place two cards here. You can see that they exactly get the surface. Same counts for like all other street elements like trees, lamps, and so on. It's also important to note that um, when we do a simulation, aka uh, vehicle dynamics simula uh, calculation, um, the vehicles will automatically recognize uh, that they get slower when it goes upwards or faster when it goes downwards. So the vehicles in all uh, situations recognize the structure of the 3D landscape and yeah that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and have a great one bye